I can taste the alcohol and not even it's not even that strong. Hello everybody. I don't know, I might be being a bit quiet, but that's because we have people in the house and I'm embarrassed, so hopefully this isn't too quiet. Um but I don't wanna be shouting. Anyway, that doesn't matter because this is my celebration video. <laughs> I didn't sound very excited, I don't know why. We have now, in our little group of people, over a hundred of us, which is really, really cool. It's so cool. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I think the last time I checked, it was 113. So we're shooting off past the mark of 100 subscribers, which is really, really cool. So thank you so much. For subscribing that's just amazing um i'm really thankful i'm actually really happy that people enjoy the content that i make because i wasn't sure how wide of a range of people would be interested in the kind of stuff i guess i'm talking about but maybe there's not actually that many people doing the stuff i'm talking about i don't know how many people move to latvia probably loads but whether they want to talk about it on the internet, I don't know. <laughs> there are hundreds, over a hundred of us now, which is awesome. I can't thank you guys enough. And I, I wish I could give something back to you. <laughs> but for now, you'll just have to watch my face. So as I said in my last video, I am going to do a Q&A for our 100 subscriber people thing, celebration, thingamabob, you know. Um, so yes, let's get straight into it because I found quite a few. Uh, they're not in any specific order, I just wrote them down in the order that I saw them uh, in comments. So I'll just start with the first one which is, what places have I visited in Latvia? I have been to, obviously the town I live in, which I'm not going to disclose for obvious reasons. <laughs> I've been to Riga. I have been to Ventspils, which is a very nice place. It was really nice there. I have been to Jägpils. I think that might be it. I haven't been many places. I don't travel very much. So this is the place I've been in Latvia. I think the furthest I've traveled inside of Latvia is to uh, Ventspils because from where I live, it's like quite a long drive. But it was really nice there, that was a really great time. Uh, someone also asked, what places have I visited in Eastern Europe? So of course I have been to Latvia, I live here. I have also been in Lithuania. Uh, I haven't stayed there and I haven't really been anywhere inside Lithuania. I have only a couple of times, I think, flown from Bristol, UK to Kaunas. Oh yeah, I've been, I've flown to Lithuania and then been in a minibus and driven then to Riga to obviously get to Latvia. So I have been in Lithuania, but only as an, a pit stop <laughs> to get to Latvia. Okay, the next one. Did I meet my husband in the UK? Yes, I did. Um, he moved to the UK. Oh, a very long time ago now. 2014 maybe he we were both obviously very young I'm only 23 he's going to be 24 soon um, so we met at school in year 11 in UK um, which is your final year of secondary school or high, high school I guess you could call it um, that's where we met <laughs> I guess that was it we met in school and then started dating girlfriend boyfriend and here we are today nearly eight years down the line <laughs> the next one is why did i move to latvia i don't want to get too much into it but it started with like um family things family things and so basically um my husband's grandmother needed someone to live with her, otherwise she would be lonely, and we don't want her to be lonely. So we decided um, 
that we would be the ones to come move back to Latvia to be with her, to keep her company, to help her with the house, to help her with the land, because unfortunately no one else in um, my husband's family could do that. I think we were the only ones who were free, technically, to be able to do that, because we had both just finished our degrees. Um, we didn't have any jobs lined up. Basically, we were needed, so we decided YOLO, basically, let's go. <laughs> How do I like Latvia? I like Latvia very much. I think it's very beautiful. I would say if someone said to me, describe Latvia in three words, I would say beautiful, I would say flat, and I would say beautiful. <laughs> Can I have the same word twice? I don't really, I find, I find it hard to describe things. I don't get the words in my head. I can't think of anything. Basically, that view is a gorgeous country. I love it very much. It's very beautiful. I really appreciate that it's flat and there's no mountains because in the UK, there's hills everywhere. Every road is like this and you have to walk up a hill all the time and I don't like hills. I've had enough of them so I can appreciate that Latvia is very flat so I don't have to go up hills anymore. <laughs> Other than that, I'm getting very used to the food. I love the food. I love generally the outlook on life. Most people's outlook on life, you know, culture. I'm down. I like it all. So someone did comment saying they wanted a more in-depth, um, in-depth answers to our process of moving here, specifically mine, because I'm mostly not a Latvian citizen. Um, so obviously for my husband, he could just move here, no problem whatsoever, because he's a Latvian citizen. But for me, there's an application process and everything. Um, so the first question, I guess, was, did we get married in the UK? Yes, we did. Um, we married, I think, five days before we left to move here which was cutting it very close. Um, we married in Wales in the UK, um, which is where we studied in university for three years. It's where we met like our best friends. It's, it's just Wales has got a place in our hearts because we married there, we met our friends. It was just all a really nice time. So we married in Wales in the UK. The day after that, packed up our flat, moved back to, back to our parents' houses, organized all our stuff into boxes and in a couple days flew out to Latvia to live forever. The next one is, was the application process easy? So looking back on it, I would, I would say it wasn't as hard as it felt like at the time. At the time though, because I don't have a working visa, so to live here, I don't have to work currently. Like, I don't have to, it's not a requirement. But what is required is that my husband earns enough money to support me because I don't work. So my husband has to earn a specific amount of money for me to be able to live here, basically, so he can provide for me. Um, and obviously, once you do go to a European country, you have then 90 days legally. You can stay there for 90 days with no hassle, no problem, but after that you have to leave. So if I wanted to complete my application, we had to do it within those 90 days, which meant that with before that, in those 90 days, as fast as we could, my husband had to find a job that paid enough to support me so that my application would be um, approved, basically. So, that, I think, is what made it feel more stressful at the time. Oh, there's something on my eye. Yeah, at the time it felt more stressful because it wasn't just me applying to live here, it was my husband stressing finding a job that one, he didn't completely hate, and two, that paid enough money for my application to then be completed, I guess. So, obviously, how it works is I, now I've been here a year, I have to reapply again. I think at this point it won't be as difficult because we did it before and my husband doesn't have to look for a job. 
and we know this time how much it might cost. Unfortunately, it does cost money <laughs> to apply and do the application and have someone approve it. Basically to have someone look at it and say yes, costs money. Yeah, the first time we went through it, it felt very stressful, but looking back on it, it probably isn't as stressful as it felt like because we had added stresses onto an already stressful thing. I hope that made sense. <laughs> the next one is, do I speak Latvian? I currently speak a little bit of Latvian. I'm having lessons. Um, I could tell you that I can speak Latvian in Latvian, but I don't think that proves <laughs> my ability. Is runāju mazliet latviski, latviešu valoda. There we go. That's a little bit of Latvian. <laughs> I don't know. If I'm having lessons. I actually have an exam in like two weeks for my lessons of what I've been learning. So please everyone wish me luck because I hate exams. I don't think I'm good at them, but hopefully I can pass. Because if I pass, then that means good things. Next one is how well do I get by with English? Now this is really interesting because I've heard from many people that in Riga, you can get by with not knowing any Latvian. Um, because pretty much everyone speaks English or is required to speak English for their job. Now, I don't live in Riga or a capital city or any big city at all. So, in the town I live in, which is where I mostly am, I only actually spoke English one time to someone, is when I went into a Maxima quite late, just before they were about to close, and I went to the self-checkout and this guy asked me, card or cash? and I didn't understand it at the time and said I'm really sorry I didn't speak Latvian or did you say and he said oh card or cash and I was like okay so that was the only time I've had to use English um, in the town I live in because I didn't understand what they were saying other than that I don't think I would ever use it because outside of big cities I don't think it's that common for people to know English well enough anyway. I'm sure lots of people do know it, some English because I think it's taught in most schools, but enough, I don't think I would be able to get by with just English. Like, when I go out, I have to prepare myself to speak Latvian if someone talks to me because I don't think it would get me anywhere. I don't think anyone would really understand or like it. To be fair, I think they would prefer it if I tried to speak Latvian. So when I go out, I prepare myself to be speaking Latvian if someone tries to talk to me. And the last one is apparently a very important question. The person who asked said it was important to them. I can understand why it would be. Is do I want to get Latvian citizenship, citizenship eventually? Um, my answer is yes, I think I would. The only thing that scares me about that is revising and learning history of the country and government and all of that stuff. And I'm willing. We already actually have a book to learn Latvian history for a citizenship. So yes, I would want to do that, but I think that will come in a while. I think in maybe five years or so when I get a permanent residence. So that is all the questions. I hope this video, I, I think I say this every video, I hope it wasn't too long and it was actually interesting. Um, I hope I answered your questions. I hope you actually found something out about me. Maybe we could do this again. 200 subscribers, woo! <laughs> that would be really cool. Um, yes, one thing I did want to say though is I am really sorry that my video, again, this one I think is two weeks from my last one. Is a week late. I do want to upload every week but right now so when I last uploaded before my sister was visiting and now my husband's sister and her children are here visiting for six weeks so my schedule for videos may not be as regular as I have been but after a month and a half I will probably get back to weekly videos so I hope that's okay I'm really sorry that this is not 
like on time but i hope you really enjoyed this video if you did please give it a like that would be really cool i think i've said that so many times um subscribe if you feel like it if you don't that's all right that's chill so thank you for being patient thank you for subscribing if you did thank you for commenting and asking me questions so i could answer them for you just thank you all around and now i'm gonna edit this video and hopefully it won't be too long <laughs> and i'll see you guys next time bye bye